Namaste! Welcome to Personal Development Class. I am your teacher, Letty, and I am going to guide you on your career path. Choosing a career is an important decision one has to take. And now is the time to think about it. To start with, let us all stand for a prayer. Let us put ourselves in the presence of the Almighty. Our gracious and heavenly Father, You are the source of wisdom. Your ways are higher than our ways, and Your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. I pray that You will open our minds with understanding and guide our ways. Help us in our decision. Watch both our comings and goings all the days of our lives. This we pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen. At the end of the lesson, the learner will be able to identify his career options based on different factors, career development concepts, and personal life goals. Are you confused what career to take? Is your decision in line with your interests and skills? Does it define your values? Do you have the support of your parents? Well, we know that Filipinos place great value in education. Parents strive hard to send their children to school. Do you see yourself in one of these in the picture? Maybe showing some of the possible salary will spark your interest. To guide you in your decision, I want you to take this assessment test, the Reaset test. I already sent you a copy of this paper. Answer this test to see where your interests are. Read each statement. If you agree, with the statement, shade the circle. For example, on number one, I like to work with cars. If you do, then fill up the circle. If you don't, skip this number and proceed whichever is applicable. Note, there are no wrong answers. finish the test. Now, add up the filled in circle for each column. That is, you take the total of the shaded circle for the letters R, I, A, S, E, and C. Take the three letters with the highest scores and record them under my interest code. The first three letters in the interest code are the best option to take. Now, let us discuss the result of the realistic test. If you scored R, it means realistic. That means you are good at mechanical or athletic job. You can choose college courses such as engineering, food and hospitality, and agriculture. I means investigative. These people like to watch, learn, analyze, and solve problems. Good college majors could be psychology, chemistry, and you can choose pathways such as business and public and human services. A is for the artistic people. It is good for them to work in situations where they can use their creativity. Good majors are radio and TV, interior design, and architecture. 
S is for social. These people like to work with other people. You can choose courses such as counseling, physical therapy, and education. T is for enterprising. These people like to work with others and enjoy persuading and performing. They can choose courses that go with real estate, law, and banking and finance. And last is conventional. These people are very detail-oriented, organized, and like to work with data. Good college majors are accounting, records, and processing. By this time, you may have already envisioned what nature of work you want to do but the challenge is how are you going to get there clap your career choice has far-reaching implications for your happiness health and financial status so let us discuss how to set your career goals clap you need to evaluate your potential. List your strengths and weaknesses. Do you have resilience and determination? Or do you have the tendency to procrastinate? Try to think about what you really know to be true about yourself based on the feedback from other people and examples of your actual behavior. You must have self-evaluation of your talents abilities and skills you must have an inner drive or motivation to move into the direction of your career path clap believe in yourself you can do it after all the scripture says for i know the plans i have for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a good future so say to yourself i can do all things through christ who strengthens me you need to equip yourself organize and take action to make your goals to succeed you may conduct and get exposure to the kind of job or career that you want working is the best way to find what careers are out there for you. Clap. Through time and experience, you will know how to interact with others. It comes from knowing yourself and exercising proper emotional management. Management of emotion, adaptation, and continuous learning for an optimal and productive work environment. It is the best resource to build and maintain a good work culture. Hmm, I really can't decide. I'm so confused. There are these two courses that piqued my interest, but I can't decide which of them should I choose. I'm really confused right now. I need some help. Maybe I should consult Mom Lagaid. Maybe she can help me. A few moments later. Thank you so much, Mom. So this is what it looks like. Which career pathways is right for you? The R-I-A-S-E-C test. Follow these easy steps to see where your interests are. Number one, read each statement. If you agree with a statement, fill in the circle. There are no wrong answers. Okay, let's start. I like to work on cars. Nope. I like to do puzzles. Yes. A few minutes later. And now I'm done with the first step. Second, add up the number of filled in circles in each column and then add the two columns together for a grand total. 
And now I'm done adding and taking the grand total. Next step is using your grand total scores from above. Transfer the scores for each letter into the appropriate column below. Okay. Next step is take the three letters with the highest score and record them under my interest code. So I got IRC. So this is the result of the IRIASEC test. For me, my highest is I, which is investigative. These people like to watch, learn, analyze, and solve problems. Good college majors for investigative people are marine biology, engineering, chemistry, zoology, medicine, or surgery consumer economics and psychology related pathways health services business public and human services industrial and engineering technology so my house is i so i'll focus on investigative hmm. a few moments later now i have decided hi everyone i am zandi balikov and I am grade 12 student from General Academic Strand of Makasantik National High School, Senior High School. So today, I'll be sharing with you my experiences upon answering the RISEC test and how these tests confirms my course in college. Amazing! Let's go! The RISEC test helped me a lot to realize on what career to take. And it gave me reason that this career is what I really want. That this career is what I really love. All those positive statements, I am really honest and genuine with my answers. You know, in testing yourself, you have to be honest. You have to be true in order for you to realize that that career, that certain career, really fits you. You know, choosing on what career and on what course to take is really hard. It's between practicality and the course you want. Especially if the course you wanted is really expensive and you can't afford it. I am really amazed with these rise of tests. Like, you know, it fits my it fits my dream course in college. Wow. I really want to be a teacher. I want that course of Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education. I remember when I was 10 years old, I started teaching children. I taught them how to read and how to write. Teaching is really my passion. Teaching is what I really love. And I know teaching will never be easy. They say that, oh, you wanted to be a teacher? That, would, that wouldn't be easy. I know. But I am willing to take the risk. Because that is what I really love. And in order for you to make you happy, to make yourself happy, you have to choose what you really love. And in order to achieve my dream job, my dream course, I'll be taking scholarships, any scholarships, any opportunities that will finance my education. And if one day I'll be, I'll reach all my dreams, I've reached my dreams, I'll take a board exam, and after I pass the board exam, I'll be taking master of degree. And, and buy the things that I love, travel, 
work abroad, which is I dream of. To end our lesson, I'm going to leave with a quote by John Rafley. He said, one of the key success indicators in any professional endeavors is emotional intelligence.